Welcome back. This is Aldrina Harper, business organizing strategist to solopreneurs, freelancers, and service providers. So welcome to the Organizedpreneurs podcast series, Podcasting on Purpose. Podcasting on Purpose. I'm so excited about this because those of you who are listening to this podcast have expressed an interest in launching your own podcast. And so you um, have downloaded the uh, cheat sheet, uh, which is a guide and a roadmap to podcasting success. So today we're just going to go through a few of the points on the checklist or the roadmap. And so we're going to spend some time on that uh, in the next couple of days. And uh, so, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. So on page two or three, I believe it is, where we start the tips. So the first thing you want to do is you want to define your podcast identity. Define your podcast identity. And the way you do that is you choose a compelling podcast name that reflects your content and something that resonates with your target audience. When I introduced myself, I, of course, I told you my name, but I also shared the fact that this is a series, a podcast series. Uh, Organizedpreneur is actually my, the name of my website is actually the name of the content that I produce. And so right now we're doing a series on podcasting, podcasting on purpose. And so you want to actually choose something that's a compelling, uh, a compelling name that reflects your content and resonates with your target audience. So uh, again, mine is about getting organized. And so this whole podcast series is really about organize the steps to getting organized uh, in terms of your podcasting efforts. Okay. And so you want to craft a clear and concise podcast description that highlights the value and unique aspects of your show and design a captivating podcast artwork that grabs the attention and represents your brand. Now, I have over the years, I have gone back and updated my brand and particularly the last two years, I've actually redesigned my website. And so my podcast, the image of my podcast represents my brand. So they're all uh, consistent with my brand, which is the organized preneur. And so the podcast has also been updated. The image on the podcast series, uh, the image on my social media platform, they're all consistent with my brand. And so you want to make sure that you your podcast identity is consistent with your brand uh, as well and represents your brand. So define your podcast identity through those three uh, steps. Next, plan your content. I can't tell you how important it is to do that because it's one of the things that keeps people stuck with their episodes. And so you want to make sure that you determine your podcast format, whether it's going to be interviews, solos, uh, solo episodes, storytelling, uh, whatever. So mine is more of um, a, I have a variety. Let me just say it that way. So the different seasons that uh, I have, as far as my podcast is concerned, uh, one season was uh, an interview podcast series. Another season was where my partner, my business partner and I were doing a series and we did uh, a, for about three years, we did a podcast uh, called Wisdom Inspired, where we actually got on um, and, you know, talked from a biblical perspective and so it was entitled Wisdom Inspired. And so you want to make sure that you determine the type of format, you know, whether it's going to be interviews and episodes, storytelling, uh, as well as the episode length. Uh, what, I am, what I am discovering is that the, uh, it is really best to have short snippets because people 
um, our attention span is very, very short and it just seems to be getting shorter. So, you know, uh, some people do, depending on the type of or the format of their podcast, whether it's interviews or whether it's solo episodes, that's going to help you to determine what you, how you want, how long, excuse me, you want your episodes to be. So when it's educational and this one, uh, podcasting on purpose is more of an educational genre, uh, I'm keeping these really, really short. And so because I don't want to overload you with information so that you're not, you know, you're no longer listening, um, you know, to the podcast and uh, that type of thing. So you want to make sure that you determine your podcast format, what type of genre you want it to be. And it doesn't have to stay there. Uh, You can change from time to time. I happen to do uh, different seasons. And so when I'm ready to change uh, genres, uh, I will create a new season. Now, I again, I do um, interviews, solo episodes, and educational type uh, episodes, okay? So brainstorm and create an episode outline and script for each episode to ensure a smooth and structured flow of content. That I stress very, very highly um, because I know for me, I am one of those that will go on a tangent, chase a rabbit and just get lost in my own content. So I have to have some type of a script for each episode. Uh, and then um, the, the third tip for planning your content is consider your target audiences interests and needs when selecting the topics and planning your episode. One of the things that's important is to find out what does your target audience want to know, right? What is What are their pain points? So when I created this checklist, I wanted to find out, first of all, if it was something that anybody was interested in, right? And so that's what I did. I, you know, I put the post out there. People were interested in a a cheat sheet or a guide, a roadmap, whatever you want to call it. And then once I put that out there, then I created the checklist. I didn't want to put that, I didn't want to create the checklist first and then find out if anybody wanted it. So that's a really, really key point in planning your content. Okay. So plan your content, determine your podcast format, brainstorm and create episode outline and episode outline and script. Um, and consider your target audience's interests and needs when selecting topics. So lastly, for this episode, I'll talk briefly about equipment because uh, equipment and recording setup. I did get someone in my inbox that asked me, you know, what platform that they would recommend in terms of hosting your podcast. So My personal preference, I actually have two personal preferences. So one is Anchor, because with Anchor, you can, uh, it has a huge uh, distribution channel, and you can, uh, because it's owned by Spotify, you can do two types of recordings. You can do audio recording, and you can do uh, video recording. So that's why I love Anchor. I also, my second choice um, is bcast.fm. Now, with that platform, it also has a a huge distribution um, channel. However, the thing that I like about it the most is that you can actually capture uh, capture emails uh, with this particular platform. And so that is the thing that I tell people about, in fact, I was just in a conversation this morning uh, where I was sharing that the thing that you want to always have in place is a way to capture um, people, their, their, their email address, uh, so that when they subscribe to your podcast, you at least have uh, captured that. On most platforms, you cannot even capture the email address. So that's why I use uh, Bcast. Um, 
And so the other uh, few other tips, it says on the cheat sheet, equipment and recording uh, setup, it says invest in a quality podcasting, invest in quality podcasting equipment, such as a microphone, headphones, and pop filter. Now, when I first started out, I did not, um, I just used a mic from my uh, my phone mic. And so there are ways you can set up your area that's going to help you produce a a better sounding um, uh, podcast. Uh, You can do that without buying uh, expensive equi- equipment mm-hmm. up front. And so uh, when I initially started out, I just used my phone and I used certain platforms that allow you to, you know, edit them and, and that type of thing. But you don't have to start out, you know, with uh, a, a lot of expensive equipment. I have since then uh, in, uh, invested in a better microphone and a better setup with a pop, a pop filter as well, but you don't have to start out that way. Um, choose a suitable recording environment. Uh, you can, you, you can record a podcast in your closet. I've done that before. Uh, and it does help to minimize noise and echoes. Okay. Select recording software or tools that meet your needs, such as Audacity. Audacity is a free tool, a free platform, Mm -hmm. software platform that allows you to do some editing. Uh, I've used that one for years. It is quite robust and it's been free, you know, the uh, entire time. There's also Zencaster and Riverside. So Mm -hmm. you choose what is best for you. Well, that's all we're going to talk about today. I want you to stay tuned for the next episode of Podcasting on Purpose, and I will see you then. Have a great day.